Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Global Media Network. Educate, enlighten, entertain. Passional World Talk Radio is a wholly owned subsidiary of Global Media Network. Today on Lest We Forget, hyphen historical with host Lillian Caldwell, we are going to talk about voting rights, not just adult voting rights, but our young men and women who are becoming 18 years old before the election upcoming in 2024, or maybe one day before the election of 2024. But my two granddaughters are turning 18 two days before the election, and they want to vote. So we're going to go over the steps and tips and offer some of the opinions and advice that will help your newly turned 18-year-old into someone who knows what to do and how to go about doing it without forgetting it, not knowing where to turn, or not asking the right questions. So how does one get started? Before you do anything, like everything else, podcasting, for example, you have to do your research. The internet is your research tool. Formerly, it was the public library. Now, people Google it to find the information what they need, or they go ask AI to help them find that information. Probably, it's your parents who are finding that information. But newly turned 18-year-olds, I recommend that you start learning how to use Google because when you go off to college or even a trade school, you are going to be asked to do research for the various papers you're going to need to know how to write. So you want to find out all the information And when you go to pre-register, you want to make sure you have all the necessary information with you. One of the first questions I'm always asked is, well, what makes you eligible to vote? Well, the simple answer is you need to be a citizen of the United States, not a citizen training where you're taking the oath of allegiance and one day becoming a citizen but a citizen of the United States. And you need to meet your state's requirements to register and vote. Now, some states do allow individuals to register, pre-register before they turn 18. So as soon as you reach the age of 18, you need to find out where you can pre-register. So you go on Google and say, in the state of Pennsylvania, I just turned 18. Where do I go to pre-register? And Google, being the ever-dependable resource, source will give you the answers. Now, when you go, make sure you bring your driver's license, or perhaps you already have a passport. Make sure you have some form of ID verifying who you are. Otherwise, you cannot fill out the paperwork provided to you for the pre-registration. Registration can be done online by the U.S. mail or in person. And for voting, individuals can participate by going to a designated polling place mail in when you request that the ballots are sent to you. You follow and read the directions carefully, or you can show up in person. Check with your state local government, GOV. They have all the information on their website, and if they don't have it, they will point you in the right direction. Another question we ask is, is there a cutoff date? And again, it depends on the jurisdiction of the state in which you live. 
So you need to A, check the voter registration deadlines in your specific state. They vary, they're not all the same. It's not uniform across the board. Some states require that you pre-register several weeks or even months before the voting begins. It's advisable that you register as early as possible. So you can meet all the requirements and deadlines. And if you make any mistakes, it gives you time to correct that mistake and still be eligible to vote. When you register, you may want to consider going in person at your local election office or another designated location. Now, I know in Pennsylvania, for a lot of senior communities, their designated center may be a church or a school or even a firehouse. Find out. Just don't learn it through the grapevine. Look it up. Yourstate.gov and they will give you the information you need to make this adventure of yours successful. Once you register, you need to verify your registration status. So again, make sure all your information is correct. Name, address, phone number, contact person, license, passport to verify your identity. For filling out the forms, again, go to yourstate.gov and they will show you and provide to you the information you need to use when you're filling out this registration form. It's very important that you read it, understand it, and follow the directions. They have no sense of humor. Don't laugh. You need to make sure if you have to read it two or three times until it makes sense, read it thoroughly. Understand thoroughly. If you have questions, ask. In my government class 40 years ago, they told me there was no such thing as a stupid question. And this was from a professor who taught at the University of Chicago, and he taught law and economics. So he must have known what he was talking about. Some states may offer you voter registration systems where you can fill out and submit your form electronically. Check and see if your state offers it. If it's difficult for you to get to the designated location, sometimes buses aren't available. Sometimes Uber is too expensive. Sometimes you can't find a friend. Make it easy on yourself. Do your pre-registration homework so that you know what steps you need to complete before you're fully registered as a voting citizen. You can also contact, in addition to the local state government, talk to your high school or other local government office because they may have free registration forms available for you to use. Nonprofit organization, community groups, our political parties often conduct voter registration drives. These drives include distributing pre-registration forms. Keep an eye out for such events. Most of them are announced at a press release or even in your local newspaper. So check out your newspaper. In some states, the Department of Motor Vehicles may be able to pre-register you to vote when you apply for or renew your driver's license or state ID. Mail-in requests are secured from your state election office or local election office. And when you fill out a pre-registration form, provide accurate information, name, address, phone number, and other required details. Again, follow their instructions carefully. And be aware of the deadlines. Deadlines seem to trip up a lot of people, adults included. The final question I often receive is, what about the controversy swirling around pre-registration? Does that apply to me? And yes, it applies to newly turned 18-year-olds, 
as well as people who've been 18 years old for the last 100 years. First, partition concerns. They believe that pre-registration efforts are disappropriately targeted or influenced by one political party or another, so it would potentially sway the election in a particular direction. Two, access and equality concerns. Opponents may argue that pre-registration efforts could be a disadvantage to certain groups, such as those with less access to information or resources that could make existing differences more evident among the voters. Political implications depending on current political climate about the impact of newly enfranchised votes on the outcome of elections. Some individuals or groups fear that a surge in young voters could alter the political landscape in ways that they find unfavorable to them. Perceived maturity and informed decision-making. Some people have concerns about the maturity and level of political awareness among newly turned young adults, questioning whether they are sufficiently informed to make responsible voting decisions. So as you can see, it's not as difficult or as intimidating as it may sound when your parents suggest to you that at 18, and you're just beginning to turn 18, or you have 18, that you should go and vote. This year's election in 2024 is one of the most important in U.S. history. It will determine a lot of things. It may even bring in a younger generation to dedicate themselves to your needs, right? It's your generation that you should be thinking about because what happens today will definitely affect your tomorrows. And you want to make sure that your tomorrows are secure. If you have any questions, contact me, pwrnetworkllc at gmail.com. Have a suggestion for a topic you want to see addressed on Lest We Forget hyphen historical, text me 484-364-1032 or go over to the website, passionateworldtalkradio.com and in the form that says, leave comments here, put it in there. Don't want to leave a name, that's fine. But please let us know what you want to hear. We'll probably be studying and discussing parts of the Constitution, which has come up, and whether or not the Constitution be kept or ditched. Depends on which political party you associate with. Thank you very much for listening. You can hear this all over again on pre-registration for newly turned 18-year-olds on youtube.com forward slash PWR network underlying PW talk radio on passionate world talk radio.com on facebook.com forward slash passionate world network on Instagram at PWTR and all the other social media foundations in which we distribute our streams to. Thank you once again, and remember, please keep listening. Thank you.